So <laughs> it's great to be here today. This is actually the second TEDx Boston I've been privileged to attend. And it's actually the third annual TEDx Boston. And it was one of the very first TEDx events two years ago to happen anywhere in the world. And um, it's sort of incredible. The TED team and I are constantly in awe of what has taken place over the last two years and of these incredible teams of volunteers like this incredible TEDx Boston team that is putting on events like this one here today. And so I wanted to show you a few of the statistics. Um, these are some of the numbers. While it launched just, two, just under two and a half years ago, we've had almost 2,000 events around the world. We have another 1,000 plus TEDx events planned in over 104 countries and in 46 languages. And so while the statistics are amazing and we do analyze and um, you know, share them, what I've become and my team has become more and more obsessed by are these human stories, the memes, the themes, the connections, and the projects that are emerging from these amazing TEDx events that are happening sometimes five, ten times a day around the world and live streaming. And um, it's sort of a truly spectacular thing to think of that you're part of this amazing global, and I like to call it a tribe of interconnectivity around ideas, people who are motivated just by passion and ideas about nothing else. And so I'd encourage you, actually, we have a blog where we try and are trying to capture some of these stories to go to the TEDx blog and read some of the stories happening from a shanty town in Kibera to a floating hotel in the middle of the Amazon forest. And if you have any of your own stories that have emerged from TEDx Boston, please consider contributing your story to this global picture of storytellings around ideas. And so I want to just play a quick video that sort of gives you a slightly deeper picture of what has transpired over the last few years. Amazon was set in a place where life is still bountiful, hoping that ideas would blossom in the heart and mind of each attendee and then be seated around the globe. Over 700 people from 17 countries gathering the floating auditorium surrounded by alligators during the worst Amazon drought in the past 100 years. Every day I meet people whose lives, jobs and companies were transformed by this event. I can't really believe that it only took 18 months for all those 55 TEDx events to take place in such a small country like South Korea. It was almost like a wildfire. It's been giving hope to people, making them cry and making them laugh and making them inspired and excited. I can't really wait to see what's going to be happening this year too. I started TED Exchange because there are phenomenal people doing great work across the globe. And so often we don't get the chance to hear from them. TED Exchange gives us a platform so that we hear all of those voices. It's amazing to watch this global conversation happening at the local level, where real solutions are actually taking place. TEDx Youth Day, 60 events dominoing around the world over a period of 24 hours. These events all had one common goal, to ignite new ideas in the minds of the world's future leaders. I really enjoy the fact that TEDx Amsterdam is not just an event, it's pretty safe to call it a movement. There are almost 5,000 people who care what's on the program, who want to be involved and who try and see how they can help the ideas of our speakers even further. Um, 
as you go through today, um, you are um, an incredible group of people that is interconnected to these other groups around the world that believe that the power of ideas can change the world. And I just want to take this opportunity again to thank the TEDx Boston team for this amazing job that they've done. Thank you.